Hi, this is uh, Josh Gross, author of the soon-to-be-published collection of short fiction, Secrets and Lies, uh, due out in late summer, early fall of 2011. I'm here today because I want to tell you about one of the stories in that book, uh, Debate is a Many Splendored Thing. Uh, Debate is a Many Splendored Thing is a story about two competitive debaters, and it takes place when one of them tells the other that she's in love with him. And the entire story takes place within his head, in the time in which he's trying to figure out how to respond to that. And the reason I wanted to write this story is because I did competitive debate in college. And I thought it was a really interesting sport for a couple of reasons. Uh, one being that people within it do a lot to sort of purge their emotions to become creatures of pure intellect. And it's, like a, it's almost like a, a sport within a sport to see who can become sort of the most dead inside, the most, uh, the creature of the purest logic, Vulcan. And to take a character like that and then put them into the act of having to deal with something as irrational and bizarre and unpredictable and potentially imaginary as love is a really interesting character conflict, and I liked that idea. Um, and initially I wanted to write it as a play where there'd be, it'd be like a debate round where you'd actually see people going back and forth. And I wanted to do that because to me, a really good debate round has the same structure as like a good dramatic plot where someone comes out and presents an idea or a problem. And then the next speaker comes up and it's like the scene in which suddenly everything turns around and you have a dramatic turn and nothing means the same thing. And then the next team comes up, which is like the act break and everything is suddenly turned on its head and it's very different. And as it gets goes further and further along, it becomes more and more tense and more and more dramatic. And like, oh my God, What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Will we invade Russia? I don't know! And then, so I thought that would make a really interesting play, but then I realized that it wouldn't. It would make an interesting play to me, but not to most people. So I decided to write it um, in a sort of different style as this uh, fictional story uh, that's just between these two characters. So it's sort of set within debate world, but it's really a story of, it's a love story. And it's a story about coming of age and trying to come into your own and trying to understand what it means to have feelings for other people and what that's sort of like. And uh, I really like it a lot. It's actually one of my favorite things I've ever written. Uh, it's called Debate is a Many Splendid Thing. It's in my new book, uh, Secrets and Lies, along with 22 other stories, which is going to be coming out in a couple of months. If you'd like to read it or get a pre-order or a copy of it, you can do so at indiegogo.com slash secrets and lies. Uh, it's only $15, and in addition to the $15 that you can also attack on a couple of other things like um, an e-copy of the book, copy of my greatest hits album from the dozen or so different uh, albums I've recorded for my musical career. You can get film rights to the book, you can get some of the interior illustration, stuff like that. All available at indiegogo.com slash secrets and lies. Uh, it's awesome, so feel free to check it out, and thanks for taking the time to listen to me today.